QB1's comeback. Cam Newton getting ready to gear up as a Panther once more, being welcomed back to a team he never wanted to say goodbye to. I say this right now. I never once wanted to leave Carolina. But let them believe. Let them make you believe anything else. The Panthers head coach hinting the team will do whatever it takes to turn things around. We have eight games left. I expect us to go compete in every single game, try to win every single game, and whichever players can help us do that, you know, we're going to do it with. Could Cam be the key to making that happen? If they had it their way, he would suit up on Sunday. What a day in the Queen City. Check that out. He's back. The scoreboard at Bank of America Stadium saying it all, putting Cam Newton's return on full display after months of being out of the game. Cam Newton promised fans he still had a lot of football left in him. Now he's going to be leaving it all on the field as a Carolina Panther once more right where he belongs. And Fox 46 has live team coverage of Cam's comeback tonight. Yeah, we want to get right to Charlotte Sports Live's Will Kunkel live at Bank of America Stadium. Will, it is an exciting day, a lot going on. Head coach Matt Rule confirmed the signing within the past hour. What did he say? Oh, he said a lot. I think there's a lot to break down here. First of all, the timeline. He called Cam Newton on Tuesday. And that's important because that's when Sam Darnold on Monday came into the building after the Patriots game and was complaining of some more pain in his shoulder. He got an MRI, and that's when we learned that Sam Darnold had a partially broken scapula in his throwing arm. He was placed on the IR. He'll miss four to six weeks, which now opens the door to Cam Newton. So he called him on Tuesday. We talked with Matt Rule on Wednesday, and a handful of questions were lobbed his way about Cam, and he never really led on to anything other than saying that he and Scott Fitterer, their team's GM, were open to anything. They wanted to win, and they were ready to win now because they have the second-best defense in the NFL. All this offense has to do is be at least average, and they are well below average right now. It's a one-year deal up to $10 million, $4.5 million guaranteed. But make no mistake about it, this is a move to win football games right now. It is not about putting butts in seats in Bank of America Stadium. It's not about jersey sales. It is about winning games. Here's Matt Rule. This team wants to win, and this team moving forward wants to win, and they want to win now, and they want to win this year, and they want to win next year, and they, they want to win. And so um, this isn't about anything other than winning. And, um, you know, I, I think that's the only reason why Cam's coming here, because he wants to win. Um, that's why. We've been live on air, it feels like, since 9 a.m. this morning, but we've been going since noon on this story. This is why Fox Charlotte is the realest home of your Carolina Carolina Panthers, guys, and we're going to keep doing it at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, Thursday Night Football. We're going to have Trey Boston joining me here at 6 o'clock and then Charlotte Sports Live tonight. But, guys, I think there's a, something that needs to be said about David Tepper and Scott Fitterer. I'll tell you that at 5 o'clock. Lots going on. It's a great day <laughs> for the city. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, it feels like a game day, doesn't it? All right. Thank you so much.